DALI 3 is around the corner and today I'm going to take a deep dive in what we can expect from that. So let's start with the most important part, the pictures. Below that you see the prompt. Now interesting thing about the prompt here is you can see that this is written in normal everyday language, which means that this is a linguistic model and it doesn't need all these specific keywords or ratios that we have in here. You simply describe what you want want to have in the image. Now, it's interesting to ask at that point how you would set weights in the image or how you would blend between different things. For example, if you want to have a blend between a lion and a dog with a certain ratio, how would you express that? So here the prompt is a vibrant yellow banana shaped couch sits in a cozy living room. It's curved cradling a pile of colorful cushions on the wooden floor. A patterned rug adds a touch of eclectic charm. A potted plant sits in the corner reaching towards the sunlight filtering through the window. All of that can be seen nicely in the room. You will also realize that all of the elements here are consistent and make sense. This is not just the huge banana shaped sofa, but also the individual cushions on there. They have a cushion shape. They don't flow into each other. They are exactly what you expect, but also the texture of them looks nice, soft and puffy. Also the carpet we have down here, it has a nice pattern on on it. It has some nice shadow on there from the window and most of the shadow actually fits to the window shape here. Now it's interesting to also note that the shadow of the window is different on the carpet and on the wooden floor. So it's a bit of a discrepancy here. Here we have another example of an image. In this case the prompt is a mini map diorama of a cafe adorned with indoor plants, wooden beams crisscross above and a cold brew station stands out with tiny bottles and and glasses. Now it's really interesting to see here that all of the details seem to make sense. When you look at the chairs, they all have four legs. The four legs are all connected to the ground. Another very interesting detail here is that you can actually read cold brew on the menu that is hanging on the wall. So that is also nice. And the other elements are also very good. Also, when you look at all of the plants, they seem to be consistent and make sense in the shape they have, the coloring they have and the position they have in the image. So a lot of what I can see here adds really up. Now, of course, there still are some imprecisions in here. For example, when you look at the wooden beams up here, you will realize that all of them have a different thickness. They also seem to have a different distance. For example, this one compared to the one left of it is wider gap than to the next to it on the right side. But overall, you can see that the image quality is fantastic and has a wide range. Here we have a photorealistic style. I like how the light goes into the skin of the potato and then has this kind of refraction where it is a little bit translucent when you have a clean potato skin from a young potato. It has this kind of a little bit see through kind of skin. So that's actually a very nice touch. While here we have a very nice illustration. This is very consistent, very nicely executed and everything works very well in that image and in this artistic style. Of course, there's a lot more styles than this can create. As far as I know, all of them are going to be pixel files. So JPEG or PNG, but not vector files. You can check out all of the other examples in the link I provide below the video. Now here's another interesting thing, and that is the integration of ChatGPT into DALI 3. You would ask ChatGPT about the creation of an image, and then it comes up with four different prompts for you. We are getting different kind of styles. You can see also the different prompts that are based on the suggestions suggestion we want to have. So with the help of ChatGPT, you can actually talk to the image AI, ask questions, ask for addition or changes with an actual language AI that understands what you mean and can make meaningful changes to that. However, I also want you to pay attention. We have the hedgehogs, but all of them have the flowers on their bodies 
in a different style or not on their body at all. When we go on with the video, you can see that the user is saying, my daughter says the name of the hedgehog is Larry. Can I see more like this? Now in the images that result from more like this, each of these images has a different artistic style, but also a different way that the body looks and how the flowers look on the body. Now we are asking about Larry's house. And the images resulting from that is a very nice creation of that scenery. And we actually have the text Larry in the image. So DALI 3 can actually handle text and images very well. And there's a very nice connection between the hedgehog and that you understand that this is really his home. So that makes a lot of sense. So then the next part, we have an interaction asking what makes this hedgehog so super duper. And instead of an image, we are getting results in the style of ChatGPT explaining what makes Larry such an awesome hedgehog. One of these arguments is that he is kind hearted. So the user asked for an image that shows him being kind hearted. And here again, we have an image that has a very nice connection between the character and the surrounding events and is meaningful in the way that the characters interact with each other, but also how the composition plays out. And in this case, even the face expression of the character, which looks nice, cute and kind hearted. Finally, the user also asked Dali 3 to create some stickers with that hedgehog. And again, the hedgehog and the flowers look different and it's a different artistic style. Now, the reason why I point that out every single time is because even here, even in the connection with ChatGPT, we don't have a consistency of how the character looks of the artistic style and of the elements that are on his body. So that's an interesting detail because consistency in AI creation is actually a very important element. And I don't see consistency here, even though all of the results look amazing in the way they are created by themselves. Now let's talk a little bit about how DALI 3 is supposed to be different from the versions before, but also different from other image AIs. And one thing that's pointed out here is that modern text to image systems have a tendency to ignore words or descriptions, forcing users to learn proper engineering. DALI 3 represents a leap forward in our ability to generate images that exactly adhere to the text you provide. So here you can see an example where in the prompt it says you want to have a sidewalk bustling with pedestrians enjoying the nightlife, a bustling city street under the shine of a full moon. So you have all these details in here. You want a young woman haggling with a grumpy old vendor and then also a tall, sophisticated man, northworthy mustache and a steampunk telephone. So when we look at the image, we find all of these details represented in the image. Now, one thing that's interesting to me here is that our language in itself is actually not very precise. So even though all these details are here, it is still an interesting question in how far everything is represented in the image in the way we meant it to be. And as we have seen before with the video about the hedgehog, there is still going to be a large variation between what you describe in the image and how the style, the image and the characters look in the image. So there's still going to be a lot of experimentation on creating what you actually want to have. And one thing I'm kind of missing in this presentation on the website is any kind of other input, like for example, control net for stable diffusion, where you can give the AI a better idea that goes further than our language to describe what composition and elements you want to have in your image. Now, here are also some other interesting nuggets about DALI 3. One thing is the focus on safety. And what they mean by that is to limit you in your ability to create images about violence, adult content and hateful content. Now, even though that sounds like a nice concept, we all know that these elements are part of artistic expression and have always been. 
There is a lot of movies, novels, pictures, photos out there about violence, about nude depictions of people, about love and romance, about war and crimes. That is part of the expression of how we create culture and art. But a company takes it on themselves to prevent us from creating content like that. And I kind of question the reasoning behind that and also if my government gives me the freedom to create content like that, who are they to tell me I can't act out the freedom that I have been given by my government that I have elected democratically? Why does a private company decide where my rights end? The next argument is about preventing harmful generations. And what that means is that DALI 3 will prevent you from creating images of public figures. Now, while I do agree to that to a certain extent for the reason of privacy and the right of people over their own likeness, I also have to say that they are public figures and creating images and art about public figures is again a very important part of our culture and our cultural dialogue. Imagine if news outlets, artists and social media creators would be prevented from using images of public figures just on the assumption it might be harmful content. That kind of seems a little bit fishy. And then at another point they address creative control. And by that they mean that DALI 3 is actively denying requests to create art in the style of living artists. Again here I can understand the reasoning behind that, but I also have to question how reasonable this act and activity is. So overall you can see that DALI 3 is very capable. It's interesting that this is a linguistic model, but I want to know what do you think about these limitations and do you think that the quality that they provide is enough for you to use them instead of stable diffusion or mid journey? Let me know about your opinion in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. See you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.